next web series that many people were looking forward to was the second season of Breed starring Abhishek Bachchan, Amit Saad and Nitya Menon in lead roles. The first season that featured Madhavan and Amit Saad in lead roles focused on how far a father can go to save the life of his son. The cat and mouse thriller that showcased Kabir Sawant cracking the case of the mysterious murders of organ donors was an extremely exciting series to watch, especially due to the combination of writing and performances. The second season has Amit Saad in his recurring role and focuses on the abduction of Sia played by Ivana Kaur, the daughter of Avinash and Abha Sabarwal played by Abhishek and Nitya respectively. How the kidnapper instructs the couple to carry out several murders if they ever want to see their daughter and the dilemma of the couple between reporting to the police and taking matters into your own hands is the basic premise of Breathe into the Shadows. It's a 12 episode season so I'm going to do my best to reveal absolutely nothing and tell you the good and bad aspects of the series in no particular order so that you guys can ultimately decide whether this web series is worth it or not. The cast The first thing that will stand out for you in this series are the capable performances by the main as well as the supporting cast. Before I compliment the main cast, the lesser known actors in this series have done a phenomenal job. Shraddha Kaul plays the role of Zeba Rizvi. She plays an established yet insecure cop that is at a constant discomfort at the capability and success of Kabir. She is extremely annoying and that is precisely what the goal was, a very capable performance by the actor. Labita Bor Thakur who plays the role of Meghna, you might remember her from Lipstick Under My Burka is a breath of fresh air in the series. Reshma Srivardhan as Gayatri and the little child that gets abducted Sia played by Ivana Kaur also put forth a praiseworthy performance. Sadly, I have to say that Sayami Kher is grossly underutilized in this series as Shirley. She provided such a vast range and choke, but in this series the writing of her character barely gives her the opportunity to show off. The supporting cast of the series, however, that will steal the show are Jay Prakash and Prakash played by Shrikant Verma and Rishikesh Joshi respectively. Both the actors are effortlessly funny and possess the most natural demeanor of overworked cops who despite their appearance possess strengths that come to great use. Nitya Menon as Abha, a renowned chef, is a very capable actress. She showcases the natural urgency and panic within any mother in such a case. Even though there were several times where I pulled my hair at some of the decisions or suggestions by the character, especially in the first half of the series, her performance cannot be discounted. Abhishek Bachchan returns after Man Marzia and I don't know about you but I've always felt he has been a capable actor Guru Sarkar and Yuva have been some of my favorites and he doesn't disappoint with his OTT debut I can't dwell deeper into his character but the man is extremely confident and capable in front of camera The star according to me is Amit Saad as Kabir Sawant. His physical transformation, clearly stoic superficially but broken within, has been performed exceptionally well. His ability to power through despite his traumatic past is communicated effectively and Saad deserves all our respect. It's high time. Slow paced narrative. The series falters especially due to its pacing. We as in the Indian audience watching content online have been witnessing the most engaging on the edge thrillers that provide us constant stimulus regarding new information. The series is 12 episodes long and each episode is close to 42 minutes or more. And when the series is spaced out in such a manner, sadly the case with Breathe into the Shadows is that there is too much time spent on setting up. Even though the catalyst to the main plot of the series takes place in the first episode, the series doesn't go into full throttle until the fourth episode of the series. The series while creating intrigue on the motivation of the antagonist diverts its attention to subplots as well as immense time spent on targets that don't contribute to the progression of the thriller. This sense of terror or the lack of activity, especially in a thriller series will develop impatience as you want characters to get their hands dirty and more action to take place. The concept On paper the concept of season 2 is a much more layered and complex one compared to season 1. See in season 1 you knew from the very onset who Kabir Sawant was after and what was the motivation for Danny to go on this destructive spree. So holistically you were just waiting for how far Danny can go until he gets caught. Breathe into the shadows however presents a premise that develops more questions on the intentions of individuals, their personality traits and most importantly what is the ulterior motive or motivations of all the characters. This creates a sense of more mystery in the series compared to season 1 but I have to say that the writing yes the writing falters in holding that sense of mystery throughout its 12 episodes. Inconsistent writing. I believe the biggest demerit of this series is its writing. 
the problem is that we have presented a very compelling motivation for the antagonist that i believe should have been expanded over the course of several episodes the personality traits the history and the motivation of the antagonist on paper is such that you can really develop a fascinating thriller but due to the writing spreading itself too thin the core of the series which is the motivation of the antagonist comes across as weak There are too many moments that you can count in the series where situations are too convenient or downright bizarre with the way some characters walk away scot free as if in a stage play characters enter and exit frames and you wonder whether people have horse blinkers on walking away in plain sight corrosive materials can be created but card doors can't be locked for safety characters feel adept at hacking but feel helpless in unsending a whatsapp message without revealing something the main theme of the series is to represent the 10 primary emotions of humans that may make or break them with direct influence from hindu mythology and history the harsh reality regarding the series is that this core theme is brushed upon and it barely dives deep like asur a psychological thriller series which i will come to later moments the series does have its moments which are undeniable the feeling of helplessness as a couple lies in bed and the husband tightly holds on to his wife calmly reuniting with an old friend and the candidness with which he speaks with her and blushes as she states that he looks like nagarjun amit sad's reluctance to meet his biggest fear his regrets his past head on there are moments that are heightened due to the capable performances but never really soars to become a memory for the ages predictable screenplay the same issue that i had with the first season of breathe lives on in this season as well that the beats of the series are known to you when the donor list in season 1 basically the targets for danny are revealed you know exactly the journey and each step in which the character is going to go see whenever there is an action thriller like john wick the motivation to create absolute mayhem can just be someone killed john wick's dog no one cares about the motivation because they want to see reeves go on a ballistic rampage but when the series is a psychological thriller you expect the screenplay to at least prolong the sense of mystery at least till the penultimate stage when i think of a psychological thriller series like asur the motivation dwelling deep into hindu mythology and history as well as the identity of the adult antagonist was a mystery till the final episode both from a character and storytelling standpoint that sense of intrigue stayed with you similarly when you look at a psychological thriller movie like shutter island a masterpiece according to me it successfully pushes you to wholeheartedly believe one thing not realizing that the direction and writing has fooled you every step of the way all of it everything was nothing but a lie that's the psychological thriller genre done right in the case of breathe into the shadows you know where the series is headed which i believe is its biggest demerit the performances are extremely impressive especially amit sad and abhishek bachchan but i believe for an indian audience that has imbibed far superior written material they would have expected a far more compelling storyline that would have kept them hooked till the very end and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the series please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching